What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost, and for a lot of people, God of War Ragnarok is right up there when it comes to the most highly anticipated games of 2022, and there's a lot of reasons for that. God of War has a great legacy, a great history, a lot of lore to pull from, and also the last entry, God of War 2018, was beloved by a lot of people for the way that they brought him into the Norse mythology world, for the way that they changed the gameplay a little bit, yet still kind of staying true to what God of War is really beloved by a lot of people they're really looking forward to the next game and with the playstation showcase trailer being shown and us getting the first look at gameplay at different characters and all these things the hype level is now through the roof but one thing that we have to talk about that happened is the character reveals for a few people one of them being thor and another one being Angraboda, because i have seen this insane double standard out there when it comes to well you're respecting the source material. That's why this is okay. And you're toxic if you don't agree. And then on the flip side, when talking about Angraboda, we've heard the same exact people say, well, it's incredible what they're doing. These race swaps, it's just awesome. Fuck those toxic gamers. They're literally using different sides of the same argument in the same fucking game. I do not understand how these people's brains function, but we have to talk about it. God of War Ragnarok showcases much needed diversity and should be applauded, not criticized. Now, the image of Fat Thor, right? Let's go to this one. The image of Fat Thor that is taken over, it's trending right now, still. Thor is trending right now, days after this trailer came out. And it it's about this appearance of Thor. Now, this caught a lot of people off guard. They said, wow, that fat Thor, body positivity Thor, all of these things. I'm going to come out and defend this depiction of Thor because this is, from the source material, this is what he looks like in Norse mythology. It really is. It's a pretty accurate fucking depiction. I ain't going to lie. Um, it is not some perfect model that we have like with Chris Hemsworth in Marvel Comics. Now, that is true to the Marvel Comics lore, but not to Norse mythology. This is a very accurate depiction because Thor is, he's just kind of a mess. He eats a lot. He drinks a lot. Uh, he's a little slovenly looking. Like, these are the ways that he is described in Norse mythology. And we see some of these people reacting. What are they saying? People upset about Thor's belly and God of War just showing their ignorance and fat phobia. Body fat aids in strength. Bodybuilders are typically at their weakest at competitions because they're dehydrated. Uh, this person says, that's literally Thor, top to bottom, the single-handedly single, single -handedly most accurate depiction I've ever seen of him in any movie or game. His gaze, his red hair, his appetite. Um, you know, this is actually a pretty accurate depiction of Thor based on how they describe him in Norse mythology. I'm impressed. And what we have are in defense of God of War's Thor. G games journalists coming out defending the way that Thor looks. This is one time where these games journalists are pretty right. Um, not, not the way that they're defending. They're defending it because it's so a fat person. So they inherently think they need to defend this no matter what. But they happen to be right. It is in line with the source material. God of War Ragnarok's fat Thor design divides the internet despite being perfect. Thor's design in God of War Ragnarok caught many people by surprise, but it's quickly winning fans over. And in this article that we're going to be talking about, I want to show you how they describe and why are they are defending this and how it's going to make you so insane when we talk about this race swap character and how they're being celebrated by the games journalists. The same games journalists that are telling you to celebrate Fat Thor because it's in line with the source material are ignoring that when it comes to Angraboda, who is a white redhead in Norse mythology. Because this is Norse fucking mythology. But no, it's okay to be in line with the source material when it talks about Thor, but not a black female race swap character. That also includes Thor. Contrary to popular belief, Thor is not a buff and impossibly good-looking Avenger. Uh, Avenger. Thor is the god of thunder. He has great strength. He's quick-tempered and almost always portrayed with long red hair and a beard, and he loves to drink. And so when they revealed the character, it shouldn't have been met with surprise. Um, and then they go down and talk about everyone about everyone responding to this these responses are not only unnecessary fat phobic they show a disregard for both the original source material and the allowance for the sony team to reinterpret the character marvel has a lot to answer for then there's angraboda she's one of the last remaining giants in the god of war ragnarok and again her character stems from the original mythology as loki's love interest and the mother of monsters and here in the game she's black 
This deserves to be celebrated. Not only is the character beautifully crafted, offers great representation, and has wonderful realistic hair, why shouldn't she be black? This is an interpretation of mythology, after all. Are you fucking kidding me? You literally talked about how using the source material as a way to defend Fat Thor, yet you disregard that completely when it comes to another character. This is the insanity that I'm talking about. So when you see people out there celebrating that they claimed another redhead, right? That they claimed another redhead in these entertainment industries. So we're going to talk about how there's a whole black girl in God of War Ragnarok, like smack dab in the center of an all white Norse myth mythology pantheon. We love it. Celebrating the erasure of white characters. That's what this is. Um, and then ironically, TXT points out that in the replies, this one was hidden when someone put White Black Panther because we got to hide that reply. We can't allow that. Um, the way I screamed when I saw a black girl in God of War, I already love her. I love her because she's black. That's how these people operate. Black girl in God of War, right? That's what they're celebrating. That's what all they're celebrating. And then what do they say? Dear idiots upset by a black woman in God of War, Angry Rota could be its most interesting character. This is this insane hypocrisy, this insane double standard that, that we are seeing play out in front of our eyes right now. This is nuts to me. How anyone can take this shit seriously. I will say, Fat Thor, I think that is an accurate representation based on the source material. And when I criticize this race swap garbage that we have in order to push fucking diversity with Angra Boda, that is garbage because of the source material. You can't sit there and use that defense that, oh, it's accurate to the source material when it comes to Thor, and then flip that on its head, ignore all of that, and say, no, black voices need to be elevated. We need more representation. All this fucking bullshit. This is insane. This is why people have no respect for games journalists. This is why people have no respect for so many of these woke losers who just want a virtue signal for some kind of brownie points. This is stupid. This is insane. But this is where we're at. It's not just video games. It's in all forms of entertainment as we have seen over and over again. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Smash a like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Share this video out there. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.